Hey guys everybody welcome this is App Store project as i promised i will share this project when i reach 200 subscribers so i am here so first of all download the project and unzip it the password is project by bk jokyo it is in uppercase letters you can see it on a screen our extracted files are here in this folder now go to sh recovery tool and restore them using it when it is done importing note your project number and if you have just imported your project you will not find any files in dot schedule slash my sc slash your project number so you have to run your project once from schedule then it generates files and copy progress.xml file from zip package that i have uh, provided you you can download it from link in description or get it from our telegram channel we will use firebase for this so let's set up create a project in your firebase Using analytics is not necessary, but I am using it. So here it is our newly created project inside it add an app to get it started only first step is necessary second fourth second third and fourth are optional so you can skip them in firebase go to your project settings copy your details and in a sketch where add them in firebase library component settings Create a storage bucket
and copy storage bucket URL then paste it in Firebase library section in Sketchware. In admin panel also add some details for Firebase library configuration which we have added in App Store project. If you try to upload an app, now it will fail and it will give you a storage exception. User does not have permission to access the storage. So go to Firebase and uh, edit storage rules. Remove this if statement, if condition. and go to database create new real time database start in test mode This app store requires sign in when user want to use it. If they try to create an account, it says selected method is disabled, please enable it. So we will go to Firebase and and then authentication, email password sign in, enable it. now users can sign in and use our play store uh, sorry and use our app store but if they try to download a file it throws an illegal argument exception the supplied bucket url does not match bucket name of the current instance so in our play store view activity list view one on bind custom view we will replace link and token go to firebase then storage go to any of your files then long click here and copy link address paste it here the section before file name which ends at 2f leave it here and the token which comes after file name we will add it here for image we will write it write dot uh, jpg copy both sections paste them here And in detail view activity, 
paste them here and uh, this link is for apk so we will write dot apk after file name the link we previously post, uh, pasted in play store view activity it it is for image and uh, but we copied it for, uh, for from apk link so we will replace the text apk with img because we are uploading it our uh, images in that section now once run your project and then add import statement in our app store project we have to add import statement in only one activity so you can do this with simple text editor but in admin panel we have to add our import statement in main activity and apps activity so you have to use xml editor pro or any in a good injector갑자기 내게 나타나죠 너 난 아무 말도 할 수가 없었지 첫눈에 반한다는 이야기가 널 보는 순간 이해가 됐어 매번 야야야